What's up guys, this is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. And uh, guys, by now, you've heard it on other platforms and things like this, but I have to, I have to take some time on my platform to give a great big shout out to my new hero, Tom Kane. Oh yeah, yeah, you're going to see the video, I'm going to leave the link in the um, description box so you can check it out, plus this article that I'm going to read from. You know, the thing about Star Wars Celebration, guys, um, <clears throat> and I want to give a shout, another shout to everyone who went out to Star Wars Celebration, who uh, took the time to broadcast it to all of us. I'm talking about geeks and gamers, comic artists, pro secrets, world-class bullshitters, mindless entertainment, that Star Wars girl, Dimaj and I, um, who else was out there? Um, Odin from Oldies Movie Blog. You know, all of you guys, I was working, you know, through this whole thing and everything. Plus, my son has been turned off to Star Wars ever since The Last Jedi. So getting him to go out there would really be a hard sell if you know my son, which is what my axe to grind is with this whole fiasco. But, um, you know, thanks to you guys, I was able to, I guess, kind of virtually have that experience through you guys. So uh, I do appreciate it. So I want to thank you. I want to shout you guys out, okay? So, uh, anyway, one of the things that uh, I was thinking about during Star Wars Celebration is that, or I should say Celebration, uh, is that you have all of these big wigs there. You know, you had J.J. Uh, Abrams there, and, uh, you know, of course you had uh, the Dragon Lady herself, Kathleen Kennedy. And even though this thing is billed as a celebration, it still should not excuse these people from being accountable to their paying customers. It's like I only wish that there could have been um, somewhat of a open forum where people actually got to voice their grievances. Of course that could have turned into an angry mob. So there's got to be some kind of middle ground. There's got to be some kind of really um, respectable kind of uh, objective way to kind of do it, I would think. But I would have loved it if these people would have been able to, um, I guess, kind of answer, you know, for at least the split in the fandom, where they would at least have to acknowledge that it exists and um, field some questions. And if they really want to encourage people to spend their money the way they want them to in December and beyond, it would have been nice if you could have got these people on a panel where they could actually assure the, the buying audience that they've heard their objections, they've heard their concerns, and they're working to address them instead of operating under like some type of a, a masquerade that everything is hunky dory and you know we're just cool and we're just gonna go straight ahead and you guys adore us and we adore you. It's all some bullshit. It's phony, you know. So um, that was one of the things I was thinking about while I was watching, you know, like the uh, coverage of Star Wars Celebration. It's like where's the realness? And then, then. Like, like, coming out of the dark, the silhouette on the horizon, comes Mr. Tom Kane. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. And this guy is the voice, apparently, of Admiral Akbar. I think in the Clone Wars, and, um, you know, I think he was in the movie too, right? So, anyway, I want to share this article with you guys uh, from comicbook.com, I believe it is. All right, so I'm just going to read it to you so I can bring it, you know, like, put it in perspective. Because, like I said, I know a lot of you probably heard it on other platforms, but... I'm going to read it to you here so you can get that perspective. Okay, so like I said before, it's on comicbook.news. Uh, okay, it's com cosmic. I'm sorry, guys. It's cosmicbook.news. Okay, cosmicbook.news. And the headline goes, Admiral Akbar, actor, destroys Star Wars The Last Jedi. Destroys, man. Demolishes. And this is by Matt McGloin. Okay. And, um... Uh, Okay, so it goes on to say, adding to the long list of people unhappy with Star Wars The Last Jedi, which includes Mark Hamill and composer John Williams. Yes, composer John Williams was unhappy with The Last Jedi also. He said that the reveal that Rey is a nobody is bullshit. Anybody with half, half a brain knows that these characters didn't go in the direction that they were supposed to go in. So kudos to you, Mark Hamill, as always, and to you, John Williams. John Williams you are a freaking master. It's like I grew up listening to all the soundtracks and stuff like that, and uh, my brother always used to bump them in his car, you know, rest in peace, Tommy, I love you so much. Um, Admiral Akbar actor Tom Kane publicly slams the movie while attending Star Wars Celebration. Quick recap. Admiral Akbar was killed off in Star Wars The Last Jedi and replaced with the female character Vice Admiral Haldel, <laughs> played by Laura Dern. Biatch! 
which was simply awful writing and storytelling, something Disney and Ryan Johnson are quickly becoming known for. You know what? I like the guy who wrote this article. Tell it like it is. It was simply awful writing. Simply awful. Yes, it was. Dreadful, even. And uh, Tom Kane says, I've been at Bar now for about six years. I was not really thrilled how they blew him out of the side of the ship, Kane said at Star Wars Celebration. I'm like, who is this Haldo woman? Nobody knows her. This is a great man, by the way. A truly great man. He give me this glass eye. Uh, who knows that movie? Who knows where it came from? You have to understand. This is a great man. He give me this glass eye. Uh, I don't know if that's a direct quote. Uh, no one is invested in her. Who is she? Why is she saving the fleet? If anyone's going to be saving the fleet, it would be Ack. And then he was cut off by a moderator, by a moderator interviewer who was running the Q&A, I believe from IGN, who says, all right, all right. He makes a face and tries to change the subject from The Last Jedi to The Clone Wars, which sees Kane laugh. Okay, so in other words, Kane was starting to tell that shit like it is. He was breaking that shit down like a G. And then this guy jumps up and is like, no, 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 no. We don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that. Stop talking. Stop talking. La, 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 la. All right, now I can imagine if this man had tried to go on with how he felt at Star Wars Celebration, I bet it would have sounded something like, Don't tase me, bro! Don't tase me, bro! Ow! Ow! <laughs> I can't yell too much because it's very early. I'm about ready to leave for work. So anyway, um, yeah, so it seems Kane laugh. All right, um... Recall that during the lead up to the release of Captain Marvel, a writer and reviewer for NBC Universal's Sci-Fi confirmed that the Hollywood Entertainment Media incites shill for Disney. Huh, you think? They shill for Disney and the studios. So we see the same is happening here at Star Wars Celebration when Tom Kane gets cut off. Not surprising. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. And um, the guy who is moderating, I, I can't remember his name. I'll leave it in the comment section. But um, anyway, this guy said his reasons for cutting Mr. Kane off, the great Mr. Kane, was, uh, It's supposed to be Star Wars Celebration. We're supposed to be celebrating. It says it's all right here in the title. Celebrate. That means everybody should be happy. So, this justifies you denying a man his right of free speech, his right of opinion about a movie that he starred in. And um, this is cool how, sir. You're a pussy for that. An absolute pussy. I smell it. Pussy. All right. Ooh, the screen just shrank on me. What's this? Regarding... Uh, why Akbar was killed off in The Last Jedi, it seems obvious in that Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy wanted the beloved character killed off in order to re be replaced by a female character. Yes, girl power. Yeah, uh, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. All right, back in 2016. Kennedy says she wasn't going to cater to the male Star Wars fans. So we, uh, so we see she kept her promise. To quote Akbar, it's a trap, indeed. All right, and all I can say to that is brilliant writing, sir, even though I'm not the best reader, but the way you wrote it, I appreciate that. I agree with you 100%. And to Tom Kane, all I can say to you, sir, is there goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Ooh, I'm butchering that. I'm butchering that. Sing along, though. There goes my hero. He's ordinary. Whew, sorry, guys. It's hard to sing when you're kind of whispering because it's like the wee hours in the morning. But anyway, Tom Kane, sir, I salute you. You see, telling the truth is almost like a revolutionary act these days. And um, anyone who dares to do it can face the backlash because we're in this thumbs down culture and everything. So it's easy for people to just hear what you're saying, not even process it or thinking about it or respect it before they're downvoting you in real life. And that's the society that we're living in. Sometimes it scares me to think of the direction that we're moving into the future 
you know, like going forward, because if we're just like downvoting everything now, everything is thumbs down and thumbs down leads to ill feelings and, and feelings of hostility. It's like, what's the society going to be like in the future? Remember, guys, freedom of speech is not just an American thing. It's a God given right because God did not give us filters on our voices, you know, on our expressions and things like that. We have that God given right to express ourselves. So, uh, Tom Kane, I just want you to know, um, I hear you, we hear you, and we appreciate it, those of us who have the feelings that we have. And most of the videos that I've seen, most of the presentations that I've seen regarding The Last Jedi uh, by people who don't like the film, all of us have made it a point to say, if you like the film, that's great. It's the people who like the film, or some of the people who like the film, who have been attacking those of us who say we don't like the film for the simple fact that we've been vocal about it, ignoring the fact that we have a God-given right to feel the way that we feel. So um, there it is, guys. And uh, like I said, I just wanted to acknowledge it on my channel because uh, something tells me that the future will definitely uh, reveal and um, kind of confirm that this was the case with The Last Jedi. It was a, it was a terrible movie. It had a terrible narrative. And uh, I actually had a, a question about that. Uh, what was it? Um, Another thing, uh, just just a little unrelated thing. I was thinking to myself, and this is how things happen, you know, like I said, with time, questions come up. So I was thinking to myself, Luke, they want us to believe, killed or wanted to kill Kylo in his sleep because he sensed that he might be being drawn over to the, bad, to the dark side. So he wanted to kill him, all right, if even for a second. But once Kylo did turn to the dark side and start killing people, Luke no longer wanted to kill him, he just wanted to hide. So you see that type of inconsistency, he, wanted, he felt so strongly in his responsibility that he wanted to kill this boy in his sleep based on the, what he might do potentially. But once he started doing these things, he closed himself up from the force and just wanted to hide under the covers. You know what I mean? I, anyway guys, I just wanted to throw that stuff out there, I gotta get ready for work. So, um, you can tell me how you feel about the great, the legendary, the epic Tom Kane in the comment section. You can like, share, subscribe. You can find me on Twitter. I'm there. And that's it for me for now, guys. I will catch you on the next one. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.